No, it's not. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, welcome back. So, uh, yeah, I figured I'd put together a little video for you guys because I'm gonna be running IG's 76 millimeter throttle body and I can't find really any information on it or anything. Uh, my tuner hasn't ran it either. So I'm actually going to do a video pretty much walking through a detailed description of how to swap the motor from your stock throttle body to the IAG 76 millimeter one. Uh, and other than that, probably be a shortish video, but I'm trying to get it ready uh, so that when we take it, the car to the fab guy tomorrow that he has everything and by him welding on it, it doesn't potentially distort it. So other than that though, if you guys haven't already, uh, Click the subscribe button down below, it would really help me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers sometime within the next couple months. But other than that, uh, yeah, we'll just get into it. So let's go. All right, so right here we have IEG's 76 millimeter one. You can see it comes like this. It has the actual motor wheel part for the actual butterfly valve, spring loaded everything. Uh, from my understanding, all the screws and everything are already set to the exact way they need to be, so you shouldn't play with anything in there. And then, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap this entire motor, this plate, um, into here. So first, we're gonna have to drill out these rivets here. Um, and what they say is to use a quarter inch drill bit. This is a quarter inch drill bit and just drill out the heads. So try not to damage them. Uh, we'll see how good I am at doing this. But. Just like that. We're gonna do that to each one of these. I just picked up all the metal shavings too. <laughs> I vacuumed them up, I should say. So once you have all six of these, the heads of these rivets drilled out, you basically need a punch or something to be able to get the rest of the rivet out without damaging this casing. We're gonna try a drill bit since I don't have a punch. Maybe you should use a bigger drill bit next time, dude. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna switch to a bigger drill bit. One second. There, holy cow. Two down, four to go. Oh, it like doesn't want to come out. Just like destroying my hammer. All right, I shouldn't do this. should have not done that but just be very careful when you do that because you don't want to damage it Just 
Just like that. Much easier. Got metal shavings in my thighs. Haha, <laughs> that's what you said. Not funny. Alright, so now we've got all of these old rivets punched out. So now you basically are going to want to remove this cover. Which should pop off. Be careful not to damage it. And be careful to kind of keep orientation. So our goal here is to basically kind of keep all this the same. So what we want to do is pull this guy off. Right? Yeah, pull this guy off and you want to keep it pretty much the exact same. We're just going to leave that there for now because we need to get this, these three T20 Torx bits. These are the security ones that have the little hole in the side of them. We need to get these out so we can get the actual motor itself out and transfer it over here into this one. So we're going to leave this piece on here just to keep alignment. And uh, yeah, we'll go from, go from there. So I need to get the bits and a ratchet in order to be able to get all this stuff out but other than that this is pretty straightforward little deal here so what we got here is a t20 it's a torx bit so it's got the hole inside of it and then basically just an adapter for a ratchet and what we're going to do is we're going to get these three screws out which aren't going to be in there very tight. I mean, we're not dealing with a lot of stress in here. Basically all we're trying to do is move everything from its current orientation to its new home with the same orientation. So you can see they're pretty, pretty close to the same here. So with that, from what I understand is you're going to pull the motor out. And then there's going to be a washer. You see this washer right here? You need to make sure that this washer goes into the new one in the same exact way. So since this came out stuck on there, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put this out of the way. Because we're pretty much done with this guy. <clears throat> and we're going to come over here and I'm going to pull this off. And we are going to basically insert this. Oh, careful. The exact same way. Washer and everything. So don't forget that washer. Uh, I think if you pull it out on its side, like how I did, it should come out with it. If you do it vertically, it might not come out. So don't forget it. And then basically we're just gonna go ahead and put our T20 Torx bit or screws back in. I 
AG says to torque these to 25, these, these screws to 25 inch pounds, which comes out to be like around a little less than 2.1 foot pounds. So unfortunately we're not gonna torque them because I don't have a torque wrench that goes down that low. So we're just gonna give these a small little bit Basically get them snug to where they're not going to move in just a little bit. So basically what we're doing here is that, that spring, or that washer I was saying, that is still compressing. It's actually like a spring loaded uh, washer, I don't know what you want to call it. So basically we're just cinching it down until that spring is compressed and once it the screw doesn't want to move anymore we'll just give it a little turn a little tiny turn we're not going for he-man woman hater strength but just enough so with that we'll take this guy and we're going to go ahead and basically put that right on there okay so when you slide this guy on you want to make sure that it has enough clearance and it slides on pretty easily you don't want it to be bound up if it is bound up you can loosen these screws and push this motor this way to provide more clearance in our case it's actually pretty good so from here what you're going to do is you're going to manually put your hand in here and you're going to turn the throttle body and if it turns slowly like it closes slowly there's the gears are too tight so in our case i would say that's pretty good that's pretty quick huh like if it was too tight, it would probably go like this. You know what I'm saying? So, I think we're good. Just a little bit of play in there, nothing crazy. So, with that, we're gonna go ahead and put our cover on. Make sure the prongs go in, these two brass prongs go in their slots. And we're basically just gonna push it down best we can. And we're gonna drop a rivet in here. So, we'll start back here first because right here we have the actual, you know, the nine pig or seven pin plug, six pin plug. It's gonna be kind of hard to get a rivet gun in there without hitting. So, what IAG has done is they have supplied this four millimeter nut. My hands are so black, that's gross. And we're gonna slide this guy over top of this. And this is hopefully gonna provide us with enough clearance to when you put the gun on, we're flat on the, with the gun and the rivet. So with that, basically all we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and brace it and pull the trigger. All right, so with a little trial and error, we ended up getting it. Um, it's not super clean, but I'm not gonna show you either. We made it work. There we go, nice and flat. Crunched up. I'm sure you guys can roast me in the comments. Freaking China made crap sucks. There we go. Number four. So we only got two left, one and two. Just like that. And there we go. She's all riveted back together, boys and girls. Looks pretty good. 
Oh, I'm not even in the fucking jack handle anymore. Uh. It's jacking. No, it's not. guys we're all loaded up finally we're gonna take the car to the fab guy and he'll probably have it for a couple weeks so this is the last time we'll see the STI for a little bit but damn does it look sexy my buddy Zane helping out as always, one of the best friends a man could ask for, but... Got it all tied up. I mean, damn. Shit looks sick, so... Here we go. Ready? Let's roll. Say bye bye to the STI. Bye, Blueprint. Inside my